Today we'll be looking at 5.6, which is expanding brackets. When we're looking at expanding brackets, it sounds complicated, but it's not really complicated. All it means is writing an equivalent expression without using the brackets. So basically expanding brackets just means taking the brackets off and writing a, an equivalent expression. Okay, so to take the brackets out, we need to use what's called the distributive law. Now, this also sounds complicated, but it's not really. So the distributive law is when we multiply what is in the brackets by the number outside the brackets. So you can see in my example that 3 and then with 4 plus 7 in brackets means you multiply the 4 and the 7 by the 3 because the 3 is on the outside of the bracket. So everything inside the brackets, obviously you can't multiply the addition sign, so that's not included, but any of the numbers or variables that would be inside the brackets need to be multiplied by whatever is outside the brackets. So you can see that 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times 7 is 21. So to expand the brackets, the answer would be 12 plus 21. Now I have to get my lightsaber out for this one. Alright, so we've got another example. This is using a variable on the outside of the brackets. Um, but it doesn't really make much difference. It's still the same thing as we did before. So the A needs to be multiplied by everything inside the bracket. So A multiplied by the 5 and then A multiplied by the 3. Remembering that this term also includes the negative symbol. So uh, it still remains a negative or minus. So the answer would be A times 5 is 5A and A times 3 is 3a minus 3a. So that would be expanding the brackets. Now, I want you to have a go at expanding these brackets. I need to see this in your book when I check your homework. Okay, so you should have done it like this. So 5 times a and then you should have done 5 times 3. So 5a is 5 times a is 5a, plus 5 times 3 is 15. It's as easy as that. Now, this one, b, maybe gets a little bit harder. Not really. Um, 5 times 5a times 3b. Basically, we have to multiply 5 times 3 is 15, and then a and b is combined. So it's 5a times 3b is 15ab. And then we need to make sure, remember, this minus is part of this term here. Uh, 5a times 7c, 7 times 5 is 35ac. And when we write the variables, we write them in alphabetical order. Okay, so that's the answer for that. I hope you came up with those answers. Now, just to make it a little more interesting, um, some of the, it might be easier to understand, I'm using a rectangle here. So many of the simpler expressions can be thought of in terms of rectangles. So we know for finding the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length times the width. Now in this case, um, the, the side here, let me just get my lightsaber out again. The side here, whoop, this one here, is seven plus a. Okay, we're not timesing these two together because we need to add them together to find out the length of this side here. All right, we know that this side is 3, but we don't know what the length of this side is. It's 7 plus A. So that is why I'm going to get a pointer and tell you that um, this is how we write it here with the brackets. So 3 times 7 plus A. Um, would be what we would write it as. And then we would need to expand the brackets, which means removing them. 3 times 7, 3 times 7, 21. 3 times A, 3A. It's as easy as that. Now, when you need to write, you'll be asked to write two equivalent expressions for the area of each rectangle. You need to write one using brackets and one without brackets. So I've done this for you here. So you have two and then times, it'll be five plus x. So 
2 and 5 plus x. Um, using brackets is this one. Without brackets is here. So 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times x is 2x. All right. So this second one is a little bit harder. So we've got 7 plus a here. We need to add 7 and a together to work out the length of this side. And then we need to add b and 2 together to work out the length of this side. However, they're both then in brackets. What do we do here? So we still need to multiply everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket. So an easy way of doing that is to do everything by a first. So a times b is ab. a times 2 is 2a. And then 7 times b, 7b. 7 times 2, 14. Um, so then you come up with AB plus 2A plus 7B plus 14 as the answer there. Now it's your turn. You need to write two equivalent expressions for this rectangle. And I'll be checking your answer in class. So I'll see you then.